Hey guys, how's it going? This is Evan from EvanMods.com. As you can see, I got my case here uh, for the new computer I'm building. So I'm just going to show you some of the features and all that that I really like about this case and why I bought it. And that's gonna, not going to be like a major review, but I don't know, just point out some things I like. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, now of course I got to start with this front panel here. And I'm going to take you up from the top where there, you have all your input stuff and output because you got a headset there um, to go ahead and take you down as I can see this whole front thing is just all this mesh and high airflow which is half this is actually the Cooler Master half X case it's the biggest one out of the little half series which is high airflow and uh, they all have a giant fan on the front right behind there is a huge fan I think it's 230 millimeter or just 200 I can't quite remember um, I haven't really looked into the case that much, so we'll be doing this at the same time. But anyway, on the front here you can see this is actually USB 3.0. Most people only have USB 2.0, which is right there. Here's FireWire and eSATA for hard drives. And um, we got microphone and headset. So, standard stuff on the front, well except for that, well I don't know. Usually most people just have the audio stuff and then USB 2.0. We got some extra goodies on there. but. Here's another thing that I really like is this right here, it says push, and then it has an air going that way. You move that to the side, and you got the power button, reset button, and then fan LED. And this fan, giant fan on the front, has a red LED in it, and as you can tell, my walls are red, American Chopper, <laughs> but uh... Yeah, you can actually turn that fan on and off, or the fan LED on and off from there. So we'll slide that over. I'll show you the top here, and look at this. More airflow going through here. And there's actually another giant fan on the back here, and you can also install one there. Or there's actually, you can install a whole bunch of little fans, or just have two giant fans or one, doesn't matter. But they're also for like water cooling and stuff, which... Not really going to get into, and I'm not really that I don't know. I guess knowledgeable about actually building computers. So hopefully the one, all, everything I've picked out works well. But um, this is my first computer build, so we'll see how it goes. But I really like this case just from the size too. It allows me to expand a lot later, which I plan on doing. So I don't know. We'll, we'll go ahead and move on to the next little part of this case. Okay, so here's the back of it, and you see something. You got three holes up here. What do you think they could be for? If you aren't into building computers, well, these are actually for water cooling, which, like I said, I'm not doing. But you can run your tubes through there, pipes, whatever you want to call them. Um, but, yeah, water cooling, not going to be doing that. You have another fan here. This is a lot larger than the one that I have on my case currently because I just have, like, a standard Asus or Asus, however you want to pronounce it. Um, computer that was pre-built. I bought it at Best Buy, so not too fancy, but this case is just plain awesome. And let's see, we got PSU mount on the bottom down here. We got all your PCI slots, and there's a lot of them, so I mean, you can fit any type of motherboard in here with any number of, you know, ATX motherboards or whatever. The, the giant ones that they make, it'll fit in here. Now this is also a lot of airflow going on there. Honeycomb more honeycomb and those are just standard slots but air comes in the front and then all the way out the back very easily or actually we'll take it to the side here and you can see there's some vents nothing really special on this side um, it's just kinda raised out a little bit to allow for cable management behind the motherboard which I'm hoping to keep it all looking nice and tidy in there but anyway we'll move on to the other side because that's about it for here so let's go. Another reason I really like this case is because look at this. You've got the little window there so you can see whatever you have installed. And also a giant fan again. Just like the one on top, the one in the front, now you got one on the side. So I mean, what's not to like about it? You got air moving everywhere, keeping everything cool, hopefully. But uh, I don't know. You can't really see anything in there yet so let's go ahead and take the side panel off and uh, we'll kind of get started on the inside. Okay, well, you, once again, you got that clear window there. This is another thing I really like about it, is this fan. 
and it actually has this little cover shroud or whatever around it that directs airflow onto the video card. Now I'm hoping to get you know SLI some video cards, which means have two of them connected together for increased performance. But uh, yeah, this should be awesome, keeping them nice and cool. But anyway, that's it for the side. Go ahead and move this down and take a look on the very inside of the case. Now. Here's for the front panel there that I showed you with all the ports and all that stuff. So, don't need to pay attention to that. Here's a box that's got all the stuff that comes with it. I'll take you through that in a second. Um, but here's for the fan. You got the cables for that power. Looks like you can either have a Molex connectors or whatever the four pin or three pin rather connectors for that. There you got motherboard stuff going there, the whole motherboard, and you've got a connection to the fan up top there. It's pretty cool. And another thing I like about this is for the power supply down here, you actually have this little cover for the cables coming out of the back of it, and it slides forward and back depending on the size of your power supply because they do vary. And this right here is another cover, which I have one more screw. Or no, I put both screws in, but this can direct even more air over the video card and pulls it in through the front and over the um, the hard drives also now you can see holes there you can install a whole nother fan in there or it actually directs it from this fan also so that's pretty cool now another thing super awesome about this case is a tool that's designed for both the disk drives up here or whatever you're installing in the front which you can't see. You got a little push button here. It actually locks it in place. And the hard drive base down here. You take this out. And this is one for a, an SSD, which is a hard drive with no moving parts. But that's a little adapter for that. But all you do is you take this out, slide your hard drive in there, put it back in, and it locks it in place. There's no screws needed or whatever. Like the normal hard drives and all that and uh, keeping them in place so that is really cool that's another reason I got it let me just show you the front here when we actually take this off actually I'm going to turn the case so let's get a better angle on that because I think that's pretty much all that you really want to see on the inside of this case so uh, I'll show you the whole place in a disk drive in there now okay well I'm holding the camera with one hand got the other one to put the disk drive in it's going to be that easy so what you do to start off is you come to the front here I'm kind of blocking the light but you can see here it's got clips on the side of it right there and you just pull those up and you can do it from both sides at once but then that opens up the bay now what you gotta do is make sure this button is pressed out so that the little there are little things in here that lock it in place but here I've got just a standard DVD burner, CD burner, whatever you want to call it, DVD. And you just slide it in the front. Let's see. Then line it up with the sides here. Then come over here. And let's see. Yep, press the button. And this is now locked in place. It's not going to come out of there. Let me press on it from the back. Yep, locked in place. That's how easy it is. And then you just hook up your cables into the back of it there. So, I mean, that's another reason I really like this case is because, you know, I don't need to fumble with all the screws and stuff. And all the screws that are on this case, actually, are thumb screws, which have little threads on the sides of them. So you can use a Phillips head or your thumb or your fingers to take them off, but you don't need a whole bunch of tools or worry about losing them that much. So, pretty cool. Now, actually, I'm going to just actually put all my stuff in this case even though I don't have all my new stuff ready to go in it so I don't know I'm just gonna move it into in there for now because it may be a while before I get all my other stuff and I really want to use this case so see my teeny little camera there <laughs> Canon all the way anyway that went up in flawless and I think this video just you know displays some of my thoughts about this and I really think that you should get it even though obviously I haven't used it just by looking at this, this thing is massive. So if you plan on building your own computer, I mean, this will hold anything you need to put in it. So anyway, I think that's about it. Actually, no, i got to take you through that box real quick. It's about to, about to close out the video here, but all right, let me take you through that. 
One more thing I forgot to mention is the cable management. Like I said on the back, it was raised for behind the motherboard. But another thing is, you can see all the cables here. They just kind of disappear behind this because you can see the rubber around here now. But you can actually, I mean, it's got holes in the actual case so you can route them back there. And it's got these for cable ties, which come in the box. Um, cable ties do. But you also have... Uh, you can't, oh yeah you can, you can see it a little bit, you can see like a little slot up there, um, let me, let me see if I can, ah, just barely missing it, let's see, nope, sorry, can't get it, but there's actual slots up on the top to run cables behind, but it's pretty much just like that, you put cables behind there so you can hide everything and keep the airflow still nice and good coming from all the way from the back, or all the way from the front, going out the back, so, Everything looks tidy and it ensures to keep that airflow moving. Okay, now let's get to the box. Okay, well this is also my first time opening the box, so we're going to go ahead and uh, hopefully I can tell you what I think about all of what's in here and actually know what it is, or else this is going to be a complete failure, but I think I got it. So anyway, I'll just go ahead and I guess take a look in there and dump everything out. Hopefully nothing is fragile, so actually I'm going to be more careful. Actually, pull it out of here. That is a quite large thing there. Uh, but that's it. That's all the stuff right there. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll try to walk you through it. Now, what this is is I've read the instructions manual, and this well, it's got a cable in it. But uh, this goes around the video cards, I believe, and it'll keep them in place. And you can actually install a fan on there and uh, keep all of that. And like I showed you earlier with the shroud on the front uh, or the on the side of the case you'll have to remove that because this directs airflow on top of the video cards also so not quite sure how that goes in there but I have a feeling these this thing separates them and then you probably mount a fan I'm guessing on the inside or I probably should have looked this up before I started but anyway like I said not a professional review it's some of just like an amateur <laughs> thought about this obviously um, but we move on to an 8 pin extension cable because this case is so large you're probably going to need extension cables anyway so I actually bought a whole bunch which you saw in the last video uh, but they give you one of those included another thing is it comes with your cables let's see this is a I believe they said this was a USB 3.0 to 2.0 cable. Let's go ahead and take it out real quick actually uh, Well, let's see. I don't know. It's just a male to male USB Hmm, maybe it is the USB 3.0 to 2.0. I wouldn't quite sure know which side is which though Oh, it's got some four or what's the eight pin connector there. No, that is 8 pin. I'm not even sure what that is. I'm sure you guys are going to be like, Jeez, Evan, you don't know what that is? I'm going to be like, no, because this is my first computer build. And perhaps I should know it, but I haven't really looked into it that much. But uh, it comes with this speaker for motherboard testing. So you can see if anything's wrong or whatever. Um, but it's also got some cable ties for easy cable management. And all of your little screws and stuff for your motherboard. Make sure that's in there and holding things together. It also comes with wheels if you're planning on keeping it on you know, a hardwood floor or something like that. It comes with wheels so that you can roll it around because this case does weigh I think 35 pounds or 40 pounds and the box said um, like when USPS dropped it off it said it was uh, 37 pounds so I mean this is a heavy case don't want to be having to lug it around but anyway I think that's pretty much it all I got to talk about so we'll take another quick look at the case. Ease of use with all these. I took out the drive on the top because I'm going to show me putting in all that stuff later. So anyway, I think that's about it. So guys, I just want to say thank you for watching. And um, final overview, overview opinions of this is I like the case just purely for the look of it. The red LED in there, sure that I could mod it and change out the LED myself. But uh, look at I like the industrial look of it. Uh, looks looks tough <laughs> and high airflow and all these cool tools designs and keeping everything nice and tidy in there with all the 
cable management and I don't know most cases didn't have the inside spray painted black also so I mean that's that's awesome because you got the window on the side looking in there I don't know it just allows for expanding later I guess that's the main thing I really like about it because I don't know what I'm going to use the computer for I mean sure editing and a little bit of gaming but I want it to be able to hold anything I want to put in there so anyway guys I want to say thank you for watching hopefully you made it all the way to here and uh oh look at this we got a little tray <laughs> wow I probably should have looked at this earlier you have a tray which is for hard drives actually for easy swapping hard drives I forgot about that um but you can see in there it's got the numbers there 3.5 2.5 and uh, that's for swapping hard drives very quickly so sorry I forgot about that um, I just figured that out because I was like okay this look different than those <laughs> so I took it out and it's actually a drawer okay well alright this video has gone on long enough so I want to say thank you once again for hopefully making it to the end here or I'll just skip the video whatever but a cool case I definitely recommend it even though I haven't put it to use yet I'll see how it goes but I have a feeling I'm going to like it with all that room in there. Be able to fit anything I want to put in it. So, thanks and I'll see you guys later. Another thing I forgot to tell you guys about is you can see inside of there, there's actually, there's dust filters. And it's like a screen, fine, fine, fine mesh. And uh, Sorry for the focusing, but I just want to say dust filters keep everything inside of your case nice and clean. Because dust can be a huge problem sometimes. So anyway, there you go. Dust filters are absolutely everywhere on the case. So, I mean, it's all good. And you can just brush out the dust later if it actually piles up. Or, I guess, get some canned air, you know, compressed canned air at Walmart. Five bucks. So, keep everything clean.